I'm going to agree with like a lot of the things that Counterpoints is going to say, and you're just going to get like absolutely destroyed. No, you're not. No, you're not, because you don't even know what I'm arguing. Because what I'm arguing is you're going to watch this video. This, And by the way, I've spoken about this with people on the Discord in general chat. People have given me good reasons why there can't be what I'm going to ask for. I'm arguing against the bad reasons that people keep clinging to because they're my issue is not with Warhammer, it's with bad reasoning, okay? Bad f***ing world building, bad media literacy, and the need to defend some shit because you are a uh, cringe ass. Oh my god, my marine wears pink and he's from the, the, the Arizona T division! Okay, that's my issue, alright? So play the okay. goddamn video. Changes to the lore of their fictional universe. And well, they haven't exactly been well received. But what changes did they make to cause such a backlash, mm -hmm. you might ask? Well, this is where I'm gonna have to delve into the lore. The simplistic view is that Warhammer 40k is set in a fictional future where mankind is locked into a state of constant warfare across the galaxy yeah. and has devolved into a kind of quasi-religious military dictatorship where human life is cheap and all that matters is the survival of the Imperium. To quote the company themselves, in the grim darkness of the 41st millennium, there is only war. Nice. It's a neat setting for tabletop wargaming and there's an absolute metric ton of lore and history that's gradually oh, yeah. been built up around it over the I decades. Know, like, 5 in of fact, it. you can actually ignore the game inside of things altogether and just immerse yourself in the fictional worlds. There's more than enough books, short stories, graphic yeah. novels, video games and magazine articles to keep you amused for decades. Should we just go to the Critical Drinker video instead of doing the Asmongold reacts? Does it matter? Um, or are I you going to comment on Asmongold's shit as well? No, I think Asmin just agrees with him over some stuff that I think is stupid, but we can watch the original. My contention with it is bad argumentation in the beginning. I don't even care that much about the rest of the video, but people jumped in to defend that. The most iconic symbols of you can watch the original if you want. ...self in the fictional worlds. There's there more than are. enough books, short stories, graphic novels, video games, and magazine Ooh. articles to keep you amused for decades. Anyway, one of the most... Relly is going to be the neutral voice in this. He's also a big 40k okay. fan. Yeah, sure. We're watching a I... video on the <clears throat> on the female custodies update. Relly. The female custodies? Yeah. Yeah. Are you aware? Uh oh, Counterpoints is in the waiting room. Drag him in, drag him in. Wait, how is he in the waiting room? Why can't he just join He's in the, the channel? I'm looking. Here, I'll drag him in. I'll drag him in. Drag yeah, him I'm in. just saying. Why can't he just, he can just join the channel. Okay. Just, just, by the way, I, I was waiting for the guy to make the bad argument, and I wanted to say this from the very beginning. I genuinely don't think anyone's going to disagree with me, except actual drooling morons, okay? I think Counterpoints okay. is going to agree with me. Irrelevant will. Uh, because my issue, again, bad argumentation, not Warhammer. So just to let you know. Okay. Uh, let's just let's just go through the video. It's like um, it's like nine minutes, eight minutes left. Okay, we'll go through the video really quickly. Sure. I don't know if Counterpoints is... Have you seen this video, Counterpoints? Have you been involved in these discussions already? Uh, no. Uh, I, I have passionate opinions about them, but I'll, uh, I'll listen before I make my arguments. I'll most iconic out. symbols of the 40k universe has got to be the Space Marines, genetically and surgically enhanced super soldiers wrapped up in power armor that are deployed to the most critical war zones across the galaxy. They're the very apex of human warfare, and the elite amongst them are the Custodes, the personal bodyguards of the Emperor of Mankind. In short, these are not guys with whom to f now, there's a lot of lore surrounding the Space Marines and the Custodes themselves, how they're created and how they function, but one of the most fundamental aspects of their creation is that they're all male. Hence the reason they're all referred to as Battle Brothers. <laughs> I know, right? Who would have thought that an oppressive, xenophobic, totalitarian military regime wouldn't have diversity and inclusion initiatives? The reasons for this are a combination of established lore, the target audience, and, well, basic common sense. From the lore side of things, the process for creating Space Marines is only compatible with male physiology, and there's no way to adapt it to work on female bodies this okay hold on already here he's saying okay so he's saying it's common sense i don't know anything about the fantasy of warhammer so i wonder why it would make sense maybe it's some um, you you taught me about like hard magic and soft magic maybe whatever is going to create this space marine and the custodians which is a special breed of space marine to defend the king the emperor whatever so maybe they're gonna have some hard reasons for why they can only be biological that's very self-evident right this is a would, fantasy so i would just world. imagine probably the yeah. very the easiest thing i could think of off of the top of my head that yeah. immediately explains this is that the process to make these super soldiers only enhances what's already there therefore it's based on physical strength and obviously women aren't going to be included in the most physically strong people of the human race no women ever okay right Ever, there cannot yes. be a woman on, who can compete with a man. Oh my god. 
Okay, we go ahead, we got it. We got to pause. We got to pause because not only is our argumentation incorrect, but his argumentation is incorrect. I know, I, like I, I, I watch totally. Drinker. Well, I watch him talk on. shit about stuff all the time. I just made. Yep. I just made that up just real quick. I said if that was no, the no, argument, no, 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 no. Then but, that but would be. But even if we're basing his arguments off of uh, or our arguments off of his arguments, he's f wrong. Okay. So okay. custodies, uh, like, okay, and, and just so everybody knows, all right, I'm going to give you my authority on this, okay? I have, I'm actually going to show it off real quick, even though it's... So By the way, I don't have authority on this. Purely, I let's just pretend Warhammer. that this is purely a cosplay piece and not at all a 12-gauge semi-automatic shotgun, okay? Let's pretend, <laughs> okay? This is a bolter, okay? That That is something that I made out of 3D print materials. Definitely not a 12-gauge semi-automatic shotgun, Okay. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a YouTube video soon. I have a Warhammer channel. It has 70,000 subs. I've been breaking down lore for probably about three years. In this bookcase behind me, I have about $3,000 worth of uh, Space Marine, uh, Death Watch, and Imperial Guard, and Necrons. Um, I've been reading Warhammer lore probably since 2002. And while I wouldn't consider myself an expert because the lore is so deep, I do know more than the average bear. So real quick... Uh, before we get into this, the custodies are not space marines, okay? They're not. They're not even considered the same thing. They are the best genetically enhanced warriors, but space marines are enhanced using a process called gene seed, where they take little viral machines that rewrite your DNA, and they insert that into your body uh, and they get basically give you 20 new vital organs that change your body. And it has to be done during adolescence and it has to be done with males. The lore with custodies was that they were all male. However, their lore was that they don't even use gene seed. They are hand picked as infants and gene edited from the gate. So, uh, I could expand on why females make more sense with custodies, but not with space Marines, but I would rant for another two minutes so we can continue. Yeah. And okay. Let me just, but the drinker's wrong. Cause counterpoints already kind of gave away a lot. Cause again, this conversation was happening between me and it was more like about necessarily writing and fiction and less so specifically yeah. Warhammer and some people in the channel that were specifically mentioning that the only reason, well, not the only reason, but one of the main reasons why um, women can't be either space Marines or custodians or whatever the f they're called is because in your fantasy setting women as a totality are never in the fantasy setting going to be able to physically compete with a man or outperform like a man and to me that already shows signs of some weird reasoning okay in your fantasy series where men and women could i don't know be anything where there are orcs that have wish power to invent reality you're telling yeah, me that don't like, that is that is the ever, worst ever, argument will, that's the stupidest Never, argument please don't say that it's so interesting that it's I'm just not such done. a bad it's, argument it's, it's such a why, bad why, argument why, why, every why, time since you're not gonna let me finish oh, go ahead and tell me why your fantasy bad. series why? where anything can happen then women should be allowed is the stupidest it's, argument that's ever been yeah, made because, because warhammer is so so grounded in reality so grounded in reality no, it's so absolutely you need to kill yourself well, yeah i knew you'd, i knew you'd have to kill yourself after this yeah I, okay. I knew i knew that rules. sensitive little warhammer boys were gonna hey, kill yourself in the women i don't play warhammer i just actually follow yeah. other series and there's a whole consistent background the whole thing about hard magic is having a consistent system to work off of and when people yeah. violate it, that for well, no reason that ruins finished, the you show haven't even finished listening to the fucking guy's video and you're already talking about i don't, I don't have to listen to the video what you said was <laughs> that's all i'm telling you no, you don't, I don't even have to listen to the video just you just said <laughs> shit this guy specifically said that the the serum that they used to create these space marines is already a project that uh, a process that Wait, can't be do you reverse think, engineered do you think if this guy's people, not done hold on do you, do you think if I'm this guy's then you can't be is that what you think's going on talking while you're sawing out okay you think if this guy's you can't also be Set that's crazy process. he already said that the process to create the serum that's going to create these space marines okay it's already something that people don't really understand that's those are his words i don't care if that's a fact of the game that's, that's his argumentation also so you're telling me in a fantasy series where people don't fully understand the serum to create space marines you can't just devise a reason or anything hold else on, hold why on. women can't be subject no There's, i'm not done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, they can't be subject to well, the you're same ranting and you're wrong. serum 
Because I watched the video, and the video explains how you're wrong. No, 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 we don't have to finish. We don't have to finish. Counterpoints, tell me if I'm wrong here. It's not that they don't understand it. It's that it's old technology that, like, they don't have the tech, they don't have the technical understanding of it anymore. They don't understand Okay, but I, but I would mind. What they do understand is that women are excluded from that. That's what they do understand, right? What's your, hold on, What what's your handle, gentlemen, in the white shirt? Wolfgand. 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 Yeah. Wolf Gand. Okay, so uh, I might D, interrupt. You. Okay, I might interrupt you randomly in order to do it. Sure. So, okay, so do we? So, what I'm hearing from you guys already is we're, we we can talk about like soft magic and hard magic because I almost feel like that's where the conversation yes. is as far as us yes. being able to understand each other. Yes. And then I don't have any problems going on passionate rants about the rule set in the game as they presently exist because mm -hmm. the truth is that like what I'm hearing from a lot of people is I'm hearing the the hard rule sets that are kind of like stereotypical, like uh, bird's eye view rules of the universe. But the truth is that if you actually enjoy this universe and you read the lore, there's like exceptions and there's depth and there's different nuances and there's reasons why things are the way that they are. And I think the reason why a lot of diehard Warhammer people are pissed off is because they effectively retconned a faction. They did it sloppily they did it lazily mm -hmm. and also it's an indication of things to come if they're willing to break to the progressive instinct to bring more people into a an elite faction that does have hard rules then what's going to happen is the flagship uh aesthetically pleasing faction is likely going to be corrupted in the future and that's what people are anxious about Sure, that's that's fine. And um, the, and this I'm, is the this is the pinnacle of male fantasy, by the way. This is written for hormonal teenagers that's, who are that's ugly fine. and yeah. socially rejected and don't have anything better to do. And they wish they wish that the god emperor of mankind would come down on a fucking spaceship and say, "You are the one out of a thousand people that will survive this trial." And yeah. as a result, we are going to make you go. By the way, I don't know if you guys know this. Space Marines can only be taken by adolescents. I'm too old to be a space marine. If if I try to go through the process right now, it would just kill me. And then out of the people who try to become a space Marine, it's only one out of a thousand. So it's a teenage boy fantasy of yeah. being the one guy who survives the process and then becomes an eight foot tall muscle bound demigod of war. Sure. It's and a me, male power fantasy. Let me just come out and say this. Um, my issue specifically is with the argumentation of like, the physical aptitude thing, because I've been told, and again, you're probably going to tell me that this was told to me wrong, but what I was told is that there's plenty of reasons why women can't be custodians or space marines, which in part involves the treatment that they get comes from apparently the seat of the emperor, which is like a male thing, and it's like a genetic thing. If you're talking about like a... That's uh, only true with the space marines. That's not true with the custodians, gotcha. which is actually why a lot of people are wrong about the female custodians retcon. It's not as bad as most people are saying it is. Gotcha. And if that is true, if the process is like this genetic thing that works because like the person that you are, I don't know, taking the genes from is like a male. So you need to be a male. Sure. I can buy into that. My the argumentation that I have a problem with necessarily is this idea that like, oh, my God, we have this ancient technology that we don't really understand and know the hard rules of it. But what we do know is that like women, right, can't fit in it because they're probably not going to be like physically able to do it right if we're going off of that you're telling me that on your fantasy series you're in totality ever in the entire city there will never be a woman like a singular one or even a minority that are going to be able to compete with the one percent of males that might be maybe a space marine i think that's kind of retarded and i feel like that's kind of reductive hey, do you think that well, happens let me, in real let me life expand. well hold on just let real me, quick do you think that can happen this. in let real life expand on this true because true this, this argumentation the lore in the universe doesn't even go fully with the line of argumentation that you've heard from other people, okay? So there, yeah, there is, that, well, I just want to expand on it because I want the people who are arguing against you. I don't like no, yeah, sure. the, I don't want there to be female space marines ever, okay? I don't want there to be female space sure. marines. I also am sexist and uh, I don't like women. So <laughs> that being said, um, I the the physic the physical argument is not always true. So for instance, the blood angels 
They are my, one of my favorite chapters. Their whole shtick is that their gene seed can take the most deformed, mutated, a hunchback of Notre Dame motherfucker and then basically turn them into a perfect, beautiful, angelic visage of a human being. But they will have some corruption in them that basically makes them on the verge of psychosis at all times. And they purposefully keep their planet in a radiated mutant hellscape so they can recruit from that populace because one, they think having an irradiated mutant hellscape is a decent way to keep your people People like aggressive and hardy and survivalist and all that kind of stuff. But also it takes a certain kind of character to survive in that environment. And so Dante, one of the main characters in their chapter was actually like a weakling. He was a runt. He almost died like dozens of times throughout his trials, but his character was such that he was able to survive the process and he was able to become a space Marine. And now he's one of the longest lived space Marines in all of history. And actually he just wants to die. My, um, my issue with adding females to that is that this is a ma a largely male coded story. We're talking about power fantasy. We're talking about warriorhood. We're talking about sacrificing your humanity in order to become the best kind of warrior possible. That's a story that's going to 99% apply to men throughout history. Um, and then also it's talking about the fraternal bonds, non-sexual bonds between brothers and fathers that are like, uh, they're both honorable in which you can acquit yourself well in a frenetic scenario and then learn to love people who help you survive. And then it's also the betrayal of those bonds that makes your life like hectic and hellish and, and horrible and you love somebody, but they totally fucked you over in a survival situation. Yeah. So these things are all like male tribalist, deep mythological stories. And when you add females in there, you just, dude, the part of the reason why a lot of people object to it. And I do too, is because guess what? I like boobs, right? So, sure. so if you add boobs into it and you add in a seven foot tall Amazonian lady with huge boobs, I'm no longer worried about like fraternity. I'm worried about boobs. Yeah, sure. And to be fair, genuinely, if you want to tell me like, hey, this story is being targeted at men, about men, about what they go through, like fraternal bonds. And that's do we not way, deserve a safe space? That's fine. That's a way <laughs> better explanation. That's a way better explanation than like in my fantasy theory, I draw the line of realism that, you know, women can't compete at the Olympics versus men. So, you know, that's just how it is. Dems beat the brakes because like women are like that. So I bet I hope to God and Connor, maybe you can tell me this. I hope that the average male before going through the 1% the of male, I hope they can do some insane. Sh uh, sorry, I hope they're limited exactly to the confines of reality and only only that only ever that because if we're saying I don't know, dude, it's just it, it, it's often like worse than reality. Like, like honestly, like a lot a lot of human beings, like as they go through the process, they achieve like superhuman strength and speed and agility and senses and all that kind of stuff. But when they first start out, they're typically like they're, they're rotten and they're corrupted and they have personality flaws and the world is, is dri you know, killing them. And the trials that they have to do are so like freakish and overpowered. Like uh, just as an example off the top of my head, there, there's a chapter of psychers, like the, the people who can use their brain in order to communicate with the warp. And what they do is they outfit them with explosive collars and they put them in like a warp sensitive area where there's like demons and all that kind of shit and so what will happen is you basically have like all these frenetic monsters trying to like tempt you and talk to you it's basically like just being a schizophrenic and if you lose your shit then they will detonate the explosive collars and blow your head off so not only is it like human it's like the most extreme corrupt violent horrifying version of humanity that you could possibly imagine, which is why it's such compelling material, which is why I don't want it to be pussified. I don't even, I don't know. Listen, I'm not going to argue whether bringing women at all is going to pussify it because clearly it's a series, a franchise designed by men for men Right. And if the, if the series wants to stay in that direction, if the community wanted to stay in that direction, I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with that. I do think that. You but can, can I can I can I bring up an example things. for you? Sure. So sure, the, the, the the Marine, the Marines are a they're largely asexual, like through the process of going through this, they totally lose your humanity and they also lose their sexual mm -hmm. interest and they're not capable of reproducing. And I think that that is like a relatively interesting thing, because one, you can just focus on the story in war and there's no sexual dynamics, there's no romantic dynamics. You only have fraternity and paternity 
and that's it. That's all you focus on in war. Those are the three things that you focus on. When you add females, I feel like you add sex uh, by, by its very nature. And then yeah. you you add that complication, but then you're the, the, there's a lot of other factions that are sexual and extremely sexual and also horrifically sexual. So for instance, the Drukhari are Delka, Dark Eldar. They're literally pirate raider rapists. They like murdering shit and they like raping shit. Same thing with the Emperor's children. They're, uh, they're space marines who were corrupted by the Chaos Gods. And so they actually got their function back and they mention how these people effectively like slaughter entire countries, burn their bodies, turn it into drugs so they can like sniff the cocaine of corpses that are imbued with the horror of their own slaughter. And then they also rape people to death. So like my thing is you add females to like the main protagonist thing. It's like the most interesting narrative thing that you could do there is something that I don't think the progressives would be interested in which would be like replicating sexual assault and rape as a part of a main story. That would be insane. Yeah, of course. And like, I think there's plenty of series that probably deserve to be like that. There's lots of friends of mine, uh, most of them women that I probably would not recommend like reading Berserk or something like that too. Or even I'm trying to think of like other series where uh, you get to see like women kind of not really having like positive outcomes, maybe even like Shogun, I wouldn't probably recommend that like some women just because of the realities of like women have to face in, uh, in a place like that. My issue is necessarily with like fiction and with people that mm -hmm. want to specifically draw. I think I lost you. Yeah. Wolfgang, you just, uh, your mic just went out. Oh, did I cut out? Sorry. My issue is necessarily with the idea that to me seems really weird of like, Hey, we have extraordinary things in this world. Uh, we have orcs that wish reality into Hold being. We, uh, go, you're, go, why? Go. why can't you let me? I'm going to scream it. Why don't go. you let me finish? Go. <laughs> so you have these extraordinary I also things, have right? two if, examples that, that reinforce this position. But where we continue, our, but I want to expand on your position. Uh, listen, if you tell me like, hey, Wolfgang, here's your reason why I have a problem specifically drawing the, the reality line in your crazy fantasy series that women can't compete. Right. Sure. Uh, if you tell me like, hey, the themes of this is that women are inherently weak and they should be protected and we want to reinforce these themes, I'll take that as an answer. Thematically, they shouldn't be in the line of danger. I'll take that. But what, to me, what is weird is when I when I press down on this idea of like, okay, why can't women be space marines? Uh, forget about the genetics thing with the whatever, the semen of the emperor. Why do we draw the line like here specifically? And they're like, uh, I don't know. In real life, women can't really cross the street. It feels weird. It feels like what you're just trying to say is that we want to keep it this way for what? Now you leave it up to me to interpret. Maybe because you're a f***ing sexist or maybe not. Maybe it's for yes. good reasons. Maybe okay. No. So so I am I am sexist, uh, but also I think the themes of paternity and fraternity and warrior and inhuman or uh, inhumanness necessary to become the peak of warriorhood are really cool and interesting themes worth of exploring. And I think when you add females to that, you complicate things. Yeah. Now that say that that complication can't be interesting the reason why i like warhammer 40k is because of like the the mythological and lore depth that it has but as an example in which you can have female warriors who are part of elite casts in warhammer age of sigmar which people don't like but i actually kind of like um they have stormcast eternals um they are basically the custodians of that universe they have females nobody complains about it mm -hmm. because it was set up from the beginning of the lore that uh sigmar is looking for not just the best warriors but the best people People of character that he can reincarnate into this warrior cast of elite people and that process makes them physically enhanced another thing that i don't see people complaining about because it was natural from the beginning is spartans from the halo universe there have been female spartans there was palmer there was a cat from reach and both of those characters i don't think palmer so much but cat was beloved because she was competent intelligent fierce all that kind of stuff and so i think that it has less to do with like a reflexive sexism of I don't want women in my space at all. As a matter of fact, most 40K fans can passionately tell you about a female character that they like. I think it's more like the men have carved out a thematic and mythological niche that is very well developed. And then it feels like we're adding women just because annoying progressives are being loud about it. And that's what's frustrating.
Gotcha. Do you mind if I answer? Not just that. No, 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 no. Now I'm going to actually speak. go. Now I'm going to actually speak. We all know. Yes, go. So we're waiting for you to go. Hold on. I just get really, really, really frustrated when I hear this argument that basically there's magic. Therefore, you saying anything's impossible is dumb. That is that is what I hear consistently well, I from so many people. That. I wonder who's saying that because it ain't you. Me, just sure. you just said that when you go. Oh, there's orcs who can wish anything to ex in existence. You are saying that. Are you not saying that? What are you saying? There's orcs that can wish it's anything into existence. What are you saying? Insanely, you are establishing a world where things are insanely extraordinary. Insanely extraordinary. Yes. Insanely I extraordinary. There's yes. magic in the universe. That doesn't mean yes. anything's possible. You understand that, right? So why are you that, even why are you even getting that. mad when I just said when people say magic means anything is possible, that's it. Why are you getting mad and saying because that who said argument, that? Because that is literally argument. your argument. That is your argument. Okay, explain the difference you, between yeah, what you said and what you, I said. You won. Explain you the difference. No, 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 go, you go. Explain, draw you explain, explain the difference between what you said and what I said. Orcs can wish anything into existence. It's a fantastical universe, and magic means because anything I, can happen. Explain the difference. And that's not entirely true. Because I'm setting yeah, the extremeness. I'm, just, I'm asking him to I'm setting, explain the I'm difference. Setting the, I'm setting the extremeness, like how far we can go here with how what magic can do, okay? I'm just establishing how wild it can get, okay? This is what I'm doing. For the purposes, I'm, I'm setting this here, okay? Remember this. This is a device. This is the crazy shit that we can do. And I don't even know everything about Warhammer. There might be even crazier shit, okay? So here's what we're working with, like the extent of how grounded this universe is to reality. Well, let's go back to, 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 to human people. Right, let's go back to what's, to, what's to the man purpose of what's the purpose of saying that? Well, well Bro, I don't actually, know. I'm not a master debater. I'm trying to show that? you how what I'm I want, trying to I want, I'm trying I want to, to poke at that so oh, Wolfgang oh. can answer it. So well, I, okay. here's the thing, just really quickly. I actually don't care how this applies to, to Warhammer because I don't play or watch Warhammer currently. I just care how this applies to most fantasy stories in general. And that when people well, go yeah, and there's because a they want to make changes writing. and they do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's a lot of bad writing that has come out recently that I think is exemplary of putting, um, you know, like female led narratives over the quality of the writing. Um, so, for instance, like I, I think we could all or at least I can. I thought the was the middle one of the Disney Star Wars. What was the middle one? Was it Last Jedi or something? Uh, yeah, I think sure. it was Last Jedi. So that was dog shit. Why was Leia able to survive the vacuum of space? Why was she able to marry Poppins her way back into the f spaceship? Why uh, was Ray able to do everything with like no f training? Like, like it was just dog shit writing in order to focus a female into the center of the narrative, yeah. and it, it it didn't stay connected to the the muscle and bones and the rules of the universe that had been established in previous uh you know previous entries and that's the same thing like if you look at something like let's say aliens i think is the perfect example ripley is established as competent intelligent able to back her own perspective able to keep up with the boys able to handle complex mechanical issues and able to think like a survivor so when she makes it through the first alien movie nobody bats a f an eye because she's an interesting cool competent character same thing with aliens the second entry where she goes in and all the marines are like why the f are we bringing this stupid ass broad with us into a firefight with bugs we don't need her ass and then basically she like starts helping them actually do things and explaining something in a competent way and she's a perfect shoe in where even people in the universe are doubting her competence but then she ends up proving it and we're not seeing that they're just like here's a woman that way women feel included and that's shitty well, writing and shitty world building Sure, I, I I could probably agree with that, and but stepping away from Warhammer, oh, no, I, we can't. I don't think necessarily we can step away from Warhammer. But well, I do. To, I do want to address the orcs, but I want to let somebody else talk too. Sure, as to what Gistical was saying before, where it's like, well, if there's magic, then I guess you're saying that anything goes. It's not necessarily that. It's because it sounds to me like from only what the people on the Discord and what the video that the guy mentioned said, there's a lot of like rules here where it feels like if I if I keep asking why there isn't like an answer okay well the, you know 1.1 percent of men can be like space marines again i'm not Hold going on. with what's but accurate that's... to the lore only the video why okay. do you not let me finish is it like an inhibition uh -huh. that you have okay because i so see counterpoints guy... like twitching as you're saying this so you're arguing no, 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 against stuff fine. that isn't I'm, real I'm, I'm but go ahead yes i'm arguing I'm a... against specifically because again my issue was never necessarily with warhammer i don't have a problem with warhammer and in fact i'll sit here and i'll nod and say yes you, you just felt like this. the defenses if... weren't good yeah, exactly. I think it's really, really f dumb. Um, 
Uh, it's a really dumb explanation to, to mention let me, specifically. Let me address like, the orc thing though, because because sure, I want to I want to I want to kind of um I want to kind of address this with like uh, I'm I'm while I'm trying to be uh, diplomatic with you, I agree with Jay Stock's rationale uh, rationale. And so, as an example, the orcs believing things into reality is an extreme uh, thing, right? Um, however there are actually pretty firm rules about how that yeah. works. And so the way that it, the way that it works is that behind our reality, what we would consider like slip space or hyperspace, what people travel through in science fiction universes is actually the plane of hell. And it's not like hell in the way that we conceptualize it. It's the echoes of material reality. So if you believe something like a dream or, or a god or something like that, it'll be echoed in the warp. And however many people believe in that thing will give that thing power. And I think we actually kind of like subconsciously believe this in like a mythological standpoint. Like this is how pagans believe that the gods of like Greece worked and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of like pagan mythology wrapped into the 40K universe. So when it comes to orcs, they're so stupid and they're so firm in their belief that when they cobble their war machines together, if a human did the same thing, it would just fall apart like wet tissue paper. But because orcs are so dumb and they believe in the thing so hard that basically it mechanically fucking snaps together and it works in a way that nobody really understands. And that's the thing is like you're making a joke like you're, you're making like a meta commentary about how stupid belief can be powerful. And so the thematic is more important than the literal. And even the thematic and the literal have rules to them. So that's where it's like with women, we've been talking about like, uh, you know, uh, men giving up parts of themselves in order to become the ultimate warriors. That's why the thematic is more important than the literal. Yeah, sure. You mm -hmm. can you can genetically manipulate super female warriors, but that's not why that's important. Gotcha. And again, uh, if we, even if the sentiment of like themes echoes, like, even if that is part of the, re I'm not saying that that is exactly what you're saying, but even if in part that is the reason why, again, we can't have, not that we can't have, I'm trying to. We shouldn't. Sure. Or there sure, should be a male sure. carved out space. There should be a male sure. carved out space that sure. addresses these that. themes. I will take that. Not every story is meant to be for everybody. I fully believe this. Uh, now, mind you, if you give a reason, if, if in my opinion, your reasoning is bad, I should be fully allowed to say it's like hard. And that's essentially what I'm doing. But I don't you feel could... like Warhammer should change. I don't think Warhammer should be canceled. I don't think Warhammer should. They have to do this. All I want is just a good reason. And I feel like. Yeah, no, uh, the, the backup yeah. to back up your perspective. Belisarius Call is uh, he's a mechanicus. He's a transhuman. He's part robot, whatever. Um, he just within the past like 100 or 200 years of the narrative created a new version of Space Marines in which they created another like two or three organs and they upgraded everything and they created new armor and they created new guns. A lot of people were like pissed off at this because like the part of the part of the appeal of Warhammer 40K is that it's a stagnant and degrading empire that's being assaulted on all sides. So to have like an innovator come in and create something new is actually kind of like thematically contradictory. Um, if they had at that time said that like, oh, and he figured out how to make female warriors and they figured that uh, it would be reasonable to try to recruit from the female population because the truth is there are exceptional women or some shit like that, that probably would have gone up like a lead balloon, but it logically could follow and be a better explanation than females were there the entire time, which is what they just did with custodies. Sure. Um, there was something, oh, there is a facet of this that I don't think anybody's going to disagree with, but when I hear people complaining about this, it's all I want to say. Uh, you, I don't know if it's necessarily wrong, but I would bet money on the fact that this is done probably to attract more people and to make it more successful. And when it comes to making things more successful, be it with fighting games, be it with, um, fighting games is always my go-to example, but I'm sure there are more examples that I can think of. You have to, in part, maybe give up some of the original vision if it's very exclusionary, which I think Warhammer is. I'm not complaining about that. Um, you need to give that up to be able to attract a larger audience. And in part, this is probably a move to do that. Uh, I would be curious to see if these changes 
for inclusivity weren't being made if Warhammer would be completely fine, right? When I see this, the I imagine, oh, they either want to make more money or maybe this uh, this whole franchise isn't something, isn't something that's crazy profitable to the point where we can afford to keep, I don't know, not gating. I'm not going to say Warhammer is actively kicking women out, but it's definitely not like... Uh, it's a setting that isn't like super welcoming to like most people, right? So I the, wonder in part. Yeah, go ahead. Go. The, yeah, the reason why I, as like a lore head, get frustrated is because the the Imperium of Man, like I, I actually I study politics as well. Fascism is flexible authoritarianism and uh, political corporatism, and so it's treating the political body like a body and trying to administer its health and well-being, thinking of everything as like vital organs and bones and muscle and tissue. And then flexible authoritarianism just means that you do what is needed to be done in order to accomplish the job. The Imperium of Man is definitionally, I know some people aren't going to agree with this, but it's definitionally fascist. It's authoritarian. It's uh, it's uh, dogmatic. It's hyper-religious. It's theocratic. It's degrading. It's it's a it's an empire that's collapsing in on itself due to pressure from enemies within and without. And so to try to make it more progressive feels like a totally contradictory uh, right. thematic instinct. Whereas there is a faction called the Tau. They're naive. They're spacefaring. They're a new race. They try to incorporate other races into their faction to the best of their ability. They're high technology. They're not afraid of innovation. And so a lot of the ways that like people want the Imperium to be reformed, to be more welcoming to outsider people, there are factions within the universe that fit their value system. Now, the main problem that I have with Games Workshop is they seem to be listening to those progressive people and they're like, okay, we'll let a little bit of progressivism into the Imperium because they are the most popular faction. Yeah. When realistically, they could make cooler and newer models with the, the factions that align with progressive value sets, but they don't seem to be interested in that. I think half the Tau models are like 10 years old at this point. Gotcha. Okay. I understand what you're saying. There are factions that probably would align with those, but since they aren't like the tiny babies at the cover of they're not the flagship like that. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. And and, and and that's why and that's why old heads are pissed off too, because it's like the 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 new people, new people or progressive people who are complaining, they can get what they want. Yeah. They're just not interested in doing it because it's not the flagship. They want to claim the boys' space and make it their own. They don't want to go do something else. So Sisters of Battle are power-armored female warriors who basically kick almost as much ass as Space Marines. But because they have none, uh, none aesthetics and religious aesthetics, a lot of progressives don't like them. So there's an all-female power armor faction. Then the Tau, like I mentioned, they have progressive values. You could do Tau. Their models are just older and suck. Although, shouting somebody out, there's a 3D designer called Piper Makes. She basically redid the entire Tau line, and it's phenomenal, phenomenal art. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, before, there, there is a guy who is like, and I want to ask just like, because it's his stream. There's a guy who's been like biting from the very beginning of this argument to get kind of his, well, there's two people and they're both in a waiting room. It's Einstein's and I don't know how to pronounce the other guy's name. Oh, uh, I, mean, before they come I in, would pull binary ice in. I'm just like, I haven't had any chance to speak and I'm on like yeah, probably go, the same space go. he is. So yeah, go. No, no, you're, you're fine. I'm just saying that like, I'm going well, to, I was going to ask my arguments. More. I was going to ask exactly how you're feeling about this. Cause if I don't know how you, you brought up that like, oh, Wolfgang, you're saying that if there's magic, you can do anything. Uh, and I just brought up the counter example that this serum, as far as, and again, this is fake Warhammer lore. It's not accurate. This yeah, is a you're, guy who... Sorry, you're, you're just yeah. to be clear, you're making an argument that doesn't apply to anything here. It's like made up. It's a contrived scenario where you can be correct. It's a contrived scenario where you can be correct because somebody else was incorrect. I was willing to play with that. I said, this is an example I could come up yeah. with off the top of my head. I don't think it's accurate sure. to anything, right? So you're sure. you're going to argue against something that nobody's arguing. 
So I don't well, care about that. We can just throw that in away entirely. People, the whole fight that started was because people were picking up this dumb stance, okay? Because Ironsides specifically gave me good reasons, right? Why, uh, like, why the I had an issue with like the women and whatever. He gave me good reasons. I was like, okay, I can buy those. The problem was that people coming to bat for like specifically like this defense that uh, just women physically will never ever be able to like compete and stuff like that. And the reason why I bring up magic is I just want to set a standard for how wacky it can get out here okay and, and warhammer land okay is there any yeah, problems with my that, 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 no yeah yeah i'm saying i'm saying Go ahead. pointing out how wacky it can get with no understanding of why things are wacky and how that's um structured within the the like okay. power dynamics of that universe the um like the what's the word the power creep of that universe is stupid sure. because almost every sure. power that is that is wild and fantastical has major limits or else the whole universe breaks and none of it works right so when you say yeah, oh listen, anything's you... possible without really understanding how it works that's just possible. a stupid argument in my opinion i'm not saying that the orcs are gonna somehow listen all that i'm trying to establish for people that are completely unaware because my knowledge of warhammer is seriously the cover of video games there's a marine with a chainsaw and they're like slightly fascist that was my knowledge before even coming into this argument so i just want to establish that there's like fantasy elements that i wouldn't even have known if not for like warhammer heads telling me like you know that the orcs can sure tap into the but it that's it all doesn't, I'm trying to do with all, that. All I'm saying is it doesn't matter how crazy things get in like one dimension because they're always re uh, restricted yeah, by course. drawbacks. And that like just saying, because I, I know you're saying you didn't say it, but when you say orcs can wish anything into existence, to me, that is saying, unless you unless you qualify it, which you didn't when you originally said it. I didn't interrupt you when you were saying it the first time. Yes, unless you yes. qualified somehow, that's magic can do anything. Therefore, no. why are you mad that women can do this? Yes. Well, the, the meme is like BMW five twenty eight I. It's like you know what you can accept like elves and dwarves, but you can't accept a BMW five twenty eight I in your fantasy setting. And the truth is that things have to fit and they have to have rules, and that's good storytelling. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so I think that a lot of this stuff, like I, I legitimately am a little bit sexist i think that women often act like i love my wife and she's a mother of my children and she's a great person but she's a pain in the ass she makes me do errands and she makes me do shit that i don't want to do now she more than makes up for it in ten thousand other different ways but she's stereotypically a women a woman and uh women are pains in the ass and men if we're gonna accept all these arguments about how bipoc and black people and asians and pacific islanders and trans people and non-binary people they all need their little safe space where they're allowed to tell stories yeah. from their perspectives and all that like kind of and I losers. just want something for the boys. And the truth is, I keep seeing the spaces that I enjoy, like guns, car. I don't like cars, but guns, cars, football, Warhammer, all that kind of shit. I keep seeing it like invaded by annoyingly progressive people who want to pussify everything. And then after they pussified it, they're like, well, why are you annoyed that I pussified it? Aren't you like a hard dude? And they don't dude? care. And they don't even want to be there. That's the problem. Well, they don't and, even care. And the truth is, like, I shouldn't care that much about tiny plastic men that I paint, that I roll dice and play chess. On. Like, I basically play an advanced form of chess on a miniature board with tiny plastic men, okay? It's not, like, the biggest deal in the world to my existence. But at the same time, it's something I love. And why is somebody coming in and pissing on my leg and then acting pissed off when I get pissed off? It's like, don't that's, piss on my leg. That's, that's completely understandable. But what my issue is going to be with this whole situation again is that until i hear some uh what, what am i trying to say here until i hear like a set established rule in this universe as to why there can't be a uh, woman i don't care if it's and i, I again in the shadow boxing world okay why I, there I can't be female space marines you want me to no, tell no you? not space marines not space marines what i why what there i think can't it's be possible, female superhumans who, uh, or just women who uh, can compete with men. I just need one or two in the history of the the, the, the time span. That Because what it sounds to me is that if you're telling women me... Women compete absolutely... with men all the time in the setting. That's another reason why people are pissed off. There's, know, female, just... in, there, there's female Imperial Guardsmen. There's female pilots of Titans. There's female pi pilots of uh, uh, Knights. The Sisters of Battle, while they're not genetically enhanced, um, they are power armor, bolter-wielding, hardcore-ass bitches. Um, honestly, like... If I was to retcon anything, I would say I would make like a Primaris Sisters of Battle line where I would say like, hey, they're gene enhanced. 
And then I would basically 3D print uh, bits in order to make them more tactical. Because right now they have a lot of like religious iconography. And so some people get, especially progressives, because they're all heathenistic, atheist, anti-theistic douches. Uh, but they get turned off by the religious iconography because they don't like nuns with guns. So what I would I say is, that. well, hold on, hold on. So what I would say is that like these sisters of battle, their, uh, their monastery got wiped out. They started serving along Space Marines. They started adapting more tactical gear. As a result, here's the tactical version of Sisters of Battle. And I would give them new helmets, new armor, new shoulder pads, new gear. And then I would say, hey, boom. Now you got power armored Imperial females who can almost keep up with the boys and who wield all the best weaponry and they look tactical and they're not religious. That's how I would solve this problem, yes. but nobody's interested in it. It's, it's, it's not mm -hmm. a problem. It's not a problem. Uh, in, what is a problem? Guys... I don't want women in my shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. yes. Um, yeah, but uh, I want them to go play with their Barbies. I want to play with my G.I. Joes. Leave my G.I. Joes alone. Stop putting makeup on them. Basically, you guys are 100 and I'm not even saying this like with pettiness. You guys are correct because you guys are being accurate to the lore as it's been established and all the argumentation has been fine. My issue was with the guy who made the video, who said the thing that I think. Well, he's wrong about half his lore in the first place. Yeah. And I, I, like, I don't really feel like I need to do a reaction on that because he just got like sure. a half dozen things wrong in two minutes. Health, yeah, my yeah. And again, I don't know anything about Warhammer. I wouldn't be surprised if this was like somebody that was like, oh, you know what? This is an inclusivity issue and something that's mostly man dominated. I can probably get some good views out of this, put on the hat and then just make a video about it, which is fair. Um, so as much as I want to fight about it, I don't think any of you guys here are going to be picking up after that dumbass. So, <laughs> so yeah, sure. Okay. Except for binary, binary Ice. He picked up after that dumbass. Okay, he, he no, no, no. Stuff. Hold on. My, my issue okay. with this to infinity for everything is that when you have solid rules to a universe and you break those rules for any form of like DEI progressivism, when you break those rules intentionally, we need to include somebody who wasn't included before. Um, it always leads to the degradation of the IP every single sure. time, 100 percent of the time. It just always happens. You, and I realize people don't like to admit that, that. Good writing. That's what yeah. gets around this shit and, and being the, willing and to take a is, risk. And, and here's the thing. It feels like a power move by progressives to have dog shit writing and force DEI characters into your IP. Because honestly, if it was well written, you would lose 90% of the complaints. So it, fe okay. it feels like a power move. I think I know. I think I know what the answers are going to be. And I, to be fair, I don't think Games Workshop or whatever they're like bleeding for cash out here. I don't think they're going to necessarily. They're die. not. I have they're no doing, idea. They've been doing very well. So here's my question. Let's say in a hypothetical world where like, hey, we either have to go more inclusive because in a hypothetical Games Workshop is like dying out here. OK, they're not selling enough. OK, and they're like, we can either try and broaden our vision of what Warhammer is to include more people out of like staying afloat and being able to make more product in the future. Or we keep the vision pure and we don't know, like we keep with the audience. We let it that die. We yeah. Well, I'm assuming that you guys would prefer to let it die, but I'd just rather ask like what. What's no, the no, take no, no, here? no. I would, I, I, would I would be OK with them doing uh, getting more people into the hobby as long as they have good writing. Good. Gotcha. They have some of the best goddamn writers on the planet. Dan, the author, Dan Abnett, has made me cry half a dozen to a dozen times reading about characters that I love tears streaming down my face as they die in some of the most like satisfying and horrifying ways imaginable. And so pretending that you can't take that talent and dedicate it to the purpose of including a more a, like a wider variety of characters is bullshit. We get pissed off because they're being lazy. Okay. Yeah, sure. That's fair. And, and they, they keep trying to put makeup on my GI Joes and it's pissing me off. Sure. That's, Completely fair. I'm seeing a lot of people in chat making this like a culture war issue. This isn't. I don't care if there if there's like a safe space for men where there's like no. This is not about that at all. My issue is with bad argumentation. There's a guy who wrote a whole novel being like Connor, just give up. The blue haired loser cog, uh, bro. Who are you? Talk this is not about like the politics of like. <laughs> well, it kind of is. And, and here's the thing. Here's the thing for to you that guys, person. It is. My problem there, is just people... with what I. Yeah, my problem is just what I think is really dog shit justifications for what I feel sure. like, I don't know, is like simple to the, explain. And again, I'll repeat this for the amphiotime because these retards that write paragraphs but somehow can't read, don't understand, or listen, I suppose. 
I, if you tell me this is meant for men, we want it to stay it for men, primary, uh, primarily men, and we don't want to add women to the most regard, the writing, we just want that. That's enough reason for me. I just want you to say it, okay? I just want you to sure. say that out loud. I'll take that. Let, but let me, let me address that guy because I've been seeing those guys in my comments because yeah. they're really, they're, they're like, uh, it's so over bros. <laughs> like literally we get female custodians and they're like, it's so over, the entire IP is dead. Uh, no, it's not dead. And on top of that, I've been telling the progressives. So, for instance, the people who want female space marines, I I basically show them third party bits because I don't I don't give a f it, dude. If somebody showed up to a gaming store with an all female space marines, I would just call them heretics and then try to kill them on the tabletop harder. Like that Fair wouldn't yeah. be a bad day for me. I would love to f shoot women with bolters on the tabletop. That's a fan. That sounds great. Oh, can, so, can I? I just want to like interject. I guess like real quick. Um, so you guys are talking about like Warhammer 40k, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 We're, gotcha, we're also gotcha. talking about bad writing in general. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gotcha. Gotcha. So did you like maybe consider that you guys are like giant f loser nerds it, knew, yeah. talking yeah, about this shit, and maybe you should touch grass? And this is like. Ben. Dan, how many hours do you have in Rust? Dan, how many hours do you have in Rust? Dan, how many hours do you have in Rust? That's it. I, I just, I just. Uh, yeah, he's no, not going to say he's going to run away. He's going to run away. No, he's going to run away. I have to go to bed. No, I have to go to bed. run away. For the next 10 seconds. 10 seconds, you bitch. Okay. This fucking, this nerdy fucking hobby has been paying me between one and three grand to talk about for the past four you years. Stupid ass he, as a Jew, man, you should appreciate that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's like a little bit anti-Semitic. Uh, it was. Of not expecting that. Second of all, you can make 10 grand a month if you shit on yourself and jerk off with it on OnlyFans. You can do that Tell also. Tell me more about that, Dan. No, Are you, you talking from personal experience? No, I'm just saying that you can. It's not like a very good reason as to why to do something. But anyways, yeah. Do you know why you, you do are... it? It's because you fucking love it, you joyless. Fuck. Wait, hold on. Why have you been sitting here waiting this whole time to tell a bunch of losers that they're losers? Because I expect Wait, better. Because I'm a millionaire. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Destiny's friend, and I got to go don't, on the podcast. No, uh, you don't want to know the answer, no, Wolfgang. I, it's not going to help the anti-Semitism for you. Yeah. Okay, you don't want to know the yeah, answer. It won't help the anti-Semitism, but also Wolf, Wolfgang, I expected better from you. Squad, That's all. But anyways, I got to go to bed. Well, I love okay, you guys. Have a good night. Uh, uh -huh. Pussy. Dan. Um, fuck. I was a shit stir and then gets oh. offended when I make a Jew joke. <laughs> also, just I'm not real saying quick. he was actually offended, by the way. I'm fine. Well, yeah. just just before you feel bad, counterpoints, he did that for, I think, $200. Wait, what? Uh, oh, yeah. No, Dan. Dan's a <laughs> millionaire. He His money pisses me off that's part of the reason why i'm going to be so abrasive to him going i'm forward. saying i'm saying he got donated like 200 dollars to do that <laughs> somebody gave him 200 dollars to go talk shit i believe so how much is he's a, a millionaire he doesn't need the money give it to jay stock you asshole give it to me <laughs> listen i would say, say i don't get 50 of that all right well all right um, jewish money jokes aside uh ba -ba 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 -ba, progressive shit so anyways yeah, yeah yeah so it so what i would do is i have ideas on how the progressives can get what they want without destroying the entire fucking hobby i'm gonna go do that if they ruin my shit guess what sure. star wars has some good lore i think it's actually like a little cringe it's a little bit too noble bright for me i actually like the grim dark elements of star wars so what i would do is as as somebody who kind of is meh on star wars i'm only going to focus on the grim dark shit and then same thing with warhammer 40k if it gets too noble bright there's too many women there's too many blacks there's too many jews i'm just gonna you know go focus on the the grim dark shit you know i'm gonna i'm gonna go focus on the stories that are already good i'll 3d print new models that i think fit with my shit um and yeah i also uh real quick indulge me another 30 seconds i did a gw has not been releasing a lot of animation so i'm actually very frustrated with them as a company and that's kind of how i do my channel is i break down their content yeah. i create or i created a timeline that takes a dozen science fiction ips like aliens predator expanse avatar uh kill zone gears of war and i use the technology to kind of dictate where i would fit them on the timeline and then i put them into a warhammer prehistory where i can now go back and break down all those ips and all of their associated media in order to like expand my own sci-fi universe mm -hmm. if gw goes totally woke i'm gonna triple down on that and focus on the things that are cool sure yeah that's fair uh 
like even think about Predator. Alien versus Predator sucked, but Predator was excellent. Prey was excellent. You know, you got to focus on the shit that's good. Kind of stirring the pot a little bit, but also genuine question. Uh, Kelly Jean was an instrumental part of this conversation on Discord. I know that she's not here now, uh, but uh, Kelly was a significant. She was my number one teammate in this argument. Okay, it was me and her in the trenches. But she did say something that I think was interesting, which is this is a move by Games Workshop because they're seeing the success from D and D, and they're definitely trying to appeal to the. I would not say large majority. I don't know what majority, but like clearly progressives would probably flock to D and D way before they flock to uh, uh, Warhammer, and they want to get a, a little bit of a cut in that action. Correct uh, me if I'm wrong. Warhammer isn't Wizards of the Coast the people audiences? Yeah, isn't Wizards of the Coast the people who run D and D, and haven't they taken a fifty percent stock yeah. hit since like two thousand twenty? I don't know anything about the stock hit. I know that recently there's which been like is a wild of because they can print money with Magic the Gathering too. Yeah, yeah, they um, laid well, off a ton on. of their did, creative did Wizard, staff. And is, stuff does too. Wizards of the Coast run D and D? Yes, yes, D and D, Magic I'm, the Gathering, and one other thing that I can't recall off the top of my head. I'm I'm pretty sure Wizards of the Coast has taken a fifty percent stock hit in the past uh, two years. I've also been I'm pretty sure like that. that the most recent iteration of D and D has been like wildly panned to the point that they're tr like people are playing older editions because they hate the new thing. I also think that uh, a lot of people are with Magic the Gathering. Um, they're so frustrated with the way that the decks are being manipulated that they're basically mm -hmm. going to like printing their own decks. Okay. Also, very quick, Ironside said this is I, I so far I trust this guy quite a bit. He says they took a stock hit last year uh, or the year ago because they tried to copyright people for content they homebrew and got our word <laughs> for it in retaliation and haven't recovered. It has nothing to do with wokeness. Holy fuck. Um, I well, I mean, G GW would do that shit, too. I mean, so. I also yeah. don't know how you would separate those two things. I. Yeah, yeah. Sure. well, well, but at, at the same time, even so. So here, here's the thing. Just as an example, um, I, I I think that Warhammer or war, you know, the act of war of like killing people is like probably 95, 99 percent men when it comes to like combat arms, violence, frontline shit. I also think that when it comes to interest, it's probably like 80 percent men. I, as a matter of fact, I think the United States military is 85 percent male, 15 percent female, if the current stats are. So it, it's overwhelmingly male. And yet. I can think back to the past dozen Games Workshop animation productions and pro one, two, three, four, five. There's it's almost like 40, 40% 40 of the protagonists are female. Now, the violence is so good that I don't care, but I'm not going to lie. Every single time that it's a brave and stunning female protagonist, my eyes do kind of roll into the back of my head to the point that like I feel like I'm going to snap my optic nerve. So like if we could stop that and maybe have like an 85 15 with well-established female characters, I'd be Gucci. I'd stop complaining. But again, it feels like the progressives are like, hey, you're playing with your G.I. Joes. Look, here's a brave and stunning female. Look at her. You have to identify with her because she's the fucking protagonist. Identify with her now. Identify with her now. And that's what it feels like. And it's very annoying. Sure. Yeah. And I can I can totally understand it being annoying. Sure. All right. Well, well, where's the contention then, Jstock? Because it seems like I've been able to explain myself to Wolfgand and I get him yes. even if I disagree with him. I I was just as soon as I hear anytime I hear it, because I hear it all the time. And it's the I'd never heard the BMW quip before. But that's that's the thing that pisses me off. It's like you have dragons, therefore women can do anything in your universe. Now that's a specific well, it's example. Like the, it's like the wheelchair oh, shit. No, it's like I'm the wheelchair shit. No, no, no. It's like the the D and D wheelchair shit, where it's like we should have disabled people in the fucking shit, and it's like, dude, you got fucking magic potions, but you're not gonna fucking heal yourself out of the wheelchair, you lazy bitch. We're going down into a <laughs> dungeon with stairs. They didn't make it wheelchair accessible. Like so that that's like the kind of shit like where. The need for exclude the need for inclusion is pushing past story, and everybody agrees that that's fucking annoying. I feel I feel as if um, if people want to say if people want to say that like with Warhammer, the, the people who aren't Space Marines, the men and women, they're just regular people, right? The guards, it's completely. Sure, they're, that's completely understandable, right? That's uh, fair. But what I'm asking people is, if we're if we're going off of like, hey, 
to some degree, let's borrow from what humans know to be like a fact, which is women are not as physically like capable, but biologically, this and that. Um, we know from the real world that there are outliers, right? You're telling me that there are going to be like no out. And again, you explained to me, and I'm not talking about Warhammer specifically. I'm talking about what Jstock said specifically in my issue. Sure, there's going to be elite female in, warriors. Yeah, in the world, in a world where there is wild things that happen genetic enhancement are, power yeah, armor gonna, exactly yeah. right on the phantom argument that i was having that jstock started screaming to me about is we're again we're cutting off the possibility of being extraordinary at hey there's not even going to be like one outlier of a woman who can compete to me that says like hey we're purposely trying to keep out women and again where I still haven't arrived at a point where I personally have an issue with the setting because if you tell me again thematically we don't want that I'm all I'm, I completely understand an artist should have their vision I think we just want it with space marines that's the other thing yeah, too sure. is you can have 90% of the hobby you can have uh, Tau Dark Eldar Eldar Imperial Guard Knights uh, Titans um even now custodies like it's an even lower amount sisters of battle sisters of silence all of the things that i've listed all the factions uh uh, uh, uh tyranids um and then orcs are like asexual um but like all of those factions have either males and females or they're female only factions I'm asking for one faction and thematically again, like I know you already agree with me, so I'm repeating myself, but thematically it, it, it goes into those things that I talked about patern uh, paternal relationships, fraternal relationships, giving up your humanity in order to become the peak of war. The, those are the three themes that I think make space Marines attractive. Also adolescent male power fantasies about becoming a demigod of war. So the, so if that can be coded male, stay male. And then honestly, I just want to tell the female space marine people, fuck off, you got custodies. That, that's what I want to say. Be, because the truth is, like, um, here, here's something that adds to you. So you were saying there's no exceptions. With custodies, they are genetically and psychically screened by Terra, uh, the, the, basically the capital of humanity. And they are born of the noble houses of Terra. They are like 99% of the children who are submitted for this process don't pass. They fail. The, the remaining less than 1% of these children, they are not given gene seed. They are tailor genetically enhanced within their own structures in order to become the perfect human. And they are also not only supposed to be warriors. They're supposed to be poets, savants, battlefield commanders. They're supposed to be diplomats. They're supposed to be all that, like all this other shit. So for me, saying that a female isn't capable of being a competent warrior and a decent diplomat and a poet and an artist, that's wrong, mm -hmm. right? So yeah, there's no problems there. Perfect. Okay. So Jay Stock, um, do you want to bring in some of the Spurgs so we can spice it up or what? Yeah, I don't think Kelly mm -hmm. will be able to join us tonight. Why well, I was just saying, I, Kelly I, see, to I see... No, I just see binary and Ironside, so I don't know, because otherwise Wolfgang and I are just going to repeat each other's back and back yeah, and forth. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, crap! I'm actually here. I should move you guys oh. in. Yeah. Okay. So, like, what's the what's the major point of contention right now that we're trying to figure out? Basically, I want Space Marines to stay alone because I think thematically they explore male-dominated themes. However, I think that uh, female custodians is okay with the lore. Um, I think that some of the people who are complaining about it aren't accurate on the lore. Jay Stock and I both believe that if, even in fantasy settings and magic settings and sci-fi settings, you have to have in-universe rules. And Wolfgang is saying that the explanations that he's received so far for female superhumans were insufficient because some people were just saying that if you're creating superhumans, you don't need female warriors in any respect, and that doesn't feel like a satisfactory answer to him. Yeah, yeah that, I mean, that's pretty accurate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's kind of what I got. Okay, um, I don't think it's like super duper crazy, mainly because we have things like Emperor, like you know, like you know what the Emperor's children are, right? Obviously, everyone. Knows oh, I think are. Chaos Female Space Marines makes a lot of sense, actually. That's what I'm saying. So I just, it just, it seems a little bit crazy that we can't like have like an adverse to that on the Imperium side, especially now because. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Primaris aren't isn't becoming Primaris even safer than becoming Astartes? I'm like ninety percent sure. 
D- right. depends on depends on whether or not you're already like an old school of Stardews. If you're an old school of Stardews, there's a 90% chance it'll kill you. If you're a new school of Stardews, then it's better technology, so you're, you'll probably die less. So, yeah, would it be even crazier if they even, like, started trialing, like, advanced females? Like, I'm not saying, like, there has to be a bunch, but, like, considering that we have safer technology, we're actually advancing, and they obviously want to pull in a bigger audience. Like, I don't think it's super crazy to come through, right? Like, is that really that crazy? Well, the, the reason why it's crazy for me is because of like the, the thematic issues that, that I've talked about. Like I want, you know, we're, we're joking about it, but like I want a male safe space. OK, I yeah. want a space where we can talk about uh, paternal relations, fraternal relations and how if you want to become the best at war, you have to give up a healthy chunk of your humanity. And so I think that those themes are best explored within the current dynamic. And when you add women, you add uh, like, dude, I'm a, I'm a simple dude, man. Like, literally, you show me a pair of tits, I'm going to be like booba, right? So, yeah, like, yeah. So, so when you add females to that environment, it feels like it complicates things narratively. It complicates things uh, thematically. And so, like, you brought up the Emperor's Children. Are we going to have loyalist female space marines get raped by Emperor's I mean, Children? Doesn't that, doesn't that already happen to Sisters of Battle? Or like I mean, by implication, it could. We just never explored it. We, you're well, putting them in the flagship, basically. Yeah, but I mean, like, this is already like, like, you're talking about these encounters that might happen, but these encounters are already happening, right? Yeah, and they're not addressed narratively. Okay, so why would we have to address it narratively then? Just because there's female. Because you're in the flagship. There. You're 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 in the main thrust of the narrative. I, I I I'm not tracking with what you're saying. Like, we already have like female guards. We have female sisters of battle. We have female navigators. We have female all sorts of things. But somehow a female space marine getting R-worded is like way too much. Like that, I don't know, that doesn't track for me. Well, I don't think it's way too much. I just think that if you add them, then you're going to have to address that. I think another thing that you're going to have to address too is, um, I, I don't know how familiar you are with the lore, but there's um, Fabius Bile. He's creating yeah, no. his next generation. <laughs> yeah. So he's creating his next generation of like superhumans who are just psychotic mm-hmm. powerful strong humans that are almost capable of taking on astartes by themselves yeah. um and without power armor and mm-hmm. so if, to me the the narrative temptation once you add female warriors to the astartes the astartes have given up their humanity to become what they are as a yeah. matter of fact like one of the main themes of becoming astartes is how much your humanity is muted in order to become a demigod of war yeah. so Uh, Like, this is potentially interesting narratively, but the immediate thing that is like a glaring flaw to me thematically and narratively is like, why wouldn't Zinch or uh, fucking Slanesh be like, hey, you know, I can make your junk function again. I can make you guys reproduce and create like basically Astartes offspring. I will allow you to do this and you can replace existing humanity as long as you worship me you know what i'm saying like like yeah the, the asexuality of space marines to me is almost like a, a guarantor of them not replacing humanity whereas as soon as you add females and the ability to reproduce in a sexual way i feel like you add back in that com- that component in that temptation but i mean how's that going to be okay with the custodies but somehow astartes is just way too much you know what i mean because with custodies they, because they're so that- they're so limited okay they're they're, so, they're limited. so limited and they're so elite. They're even more like emotionally dead. Like I mean, like what is it? No, uh, they're Grey not. Knights? Custodies? Yeah, custodies are not emotionally dead at all. Uh, I don't know about that one. Why? I thought they were like poets, aren't they? Like philosopher king poets? Yeah, they're like warrior really poets, really king they're diplomats. Like, build like an entire civilization. Yeah, we can't. Over. They're doing. We it can't say philosopher king right? anymore though. Oh God! Yeah, Why not? Sorry. Is that um, fascist? Well, because they're not philosopher kings, right? We gotta say philosopher people. Philosopher, <laughs> philosopher nobles. Shut, shut, shut up! I hate you. I mean, but no, I understand what you're saying, but I don't think like that's more of like building an entire like populations and cities up, right? That's not necessarily going to be like a thing you have to be emotionally invested into, right? Like you can follow the emperor's blueprint that he probably programmed into your skull, right? Like I don't understand. Well, well, hold on. So, so, so the reason why I'm pushing back on this a little bit, by the way, and we're we're kind of now we're debating whether or not custodians have emotions. Um. So, so th- this is a contended lore topic in in Warhammer 40k. But this is my mm-hmm. vibe on it, and this is my take on it. 
So the Thunder Warriors were like the very first superhumans that the Emperor created, and mm -hmm. they were flawed. They got cancers. They were psychotic. They slaughtered innocents, all that kind of stuff. So eventually the Emperor was like, no, I need to perfect my design. He made the Space Marines. He replaced the Th yep. Thunder Warriors. He killed them all. Then uh, it seems like in the Horse Heresy lore that there were going to be legions that were going to get purged out of existence, and then there were legions that were going to transfer into civilian life. Well, the Ultramarines for... Mm -hmm. right, with the with the second and the seventeenth, or the second and the nineteenth, yeah, the, there were two legions that got purged. Ooh, so there's for sure one got purged. The other one, they I think, it's the second and the eleventh. Yeah, it's the, it's the miss it's the missing and the lost or something like that. It's the missing and the purged. It himself. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, but but the point being that the chances are the world eaters were not going to survive the purge. Okay. Chances <laughs> are the iron warriors were not going to survive the purge, although they technically could because they kind of just do what they're ordered to do. But anyways, there were legions that were not going to survive the end of the Great Crusade. Like the Emperor was going to kill some of his own Astartes. But the point is that the Astartes would ultimately not be in charge of humanity. That was guaranteed. That's yeah. actually part of what pissed off Horus uh, and led to his revolution. So the Custodes, though, they were going to be there forever. They were going to be the the guarantors of civilization. Mm -hmm. And so that's why, like, you know, Oftentimes when they're talked about, like they are poets, they're artists, they're diplomats, they're statesmen, they're in they're spies, they they are everything that a human is. They just happen to be nine foot tall demigods of war who can throw a guardian spear faster than Get a fucking that, space ring. Like that that tracks, right? Like that definitely sounds like it tracks. The only issue is I have is it's not been like a lot of this argument's been specifically based on the lore that we already have. And mm -hmm. for us to continue with, you know, how we want this to be, we were making up like it just it, it doesn't it doesn't feel right to accept. Does that make sense? You pick up what I'm putting down? Uh depends because because I actually like the male only space. I feel like war is a largely male only space that if you want to talk about logistics or you know, titans or mechs or whatever then we could talk about that and how females do contribute to warfare we could talk about that as well i think but if they i didn't do have like the technology and we were just talking about like bare bones right and like bare genetics like i would understand it a lot more right you know little like i was in the army right uh, i had a mm -hmm. combat mos I, I completely understand what you're talking about like we have very similar opinions when it comes to that However, like, I think in a complete fantasy setting where not necessarily like, oh, every, you know, because orcs believe something like that, it just kind of happens, right? But like, we have all this technology, we have all this ability, we're starting to advance, we're getting a lot more. I'm just saying, like, I don't think it's the craziest thing in the world where we could have one of the two things tested, right? Well, um, I, don't, I don't think logic from the lore is necessarily the problem. Like, Wolfgang and I were talking about this, where, like, the uh, you could just say, with the rollout of the Primaris, Belisarius Call was able to perfect Gene C to the point that you could implant both males and females. Mm -hmm. He wanted to expand the recruiting pool, therefore he included females, right? Like, well, and, and like I'm, mm -hmm. so, I'm sorry, I don't want to... No, go ahead. I'm going to cut you off. Um, because, like, right now, with how dire everything is with the the Imperium, right? Even with Gilman coming back and, like, murdering all the High Lords of Terror, and we're starting to, like, okay, let's rev up this fucking, let's rev up this engine and actually get things, like, progressing. Like, it's still really, really dire. And cutting out, like, a significant portion of, like, your military fighting for it is just still kind of dumb, especially when you can literally make them into the same kind of walking tank. Like, it just, it doesn't track logically. And I think this was talking about specifically, like, what Wolfgang was saying, where it doesn't, it's not a satisfying answer. Right. Like if we have yeah. the theme, we have the logic, it should be very consistent. It doesn't feel very consistent. Well, and, and I think that I think that's why I would rely more on the thematic than on the logical. And also, I think that's something that's weird with like the narrative push for the Imperium to be more progressive in a way. Um, you know, Gilliman coming back, the lion coming back these are ways in which the Imperium seems to be progressing, right? Like Gilliman is mm -hmm. a statesman and a logistician, and he's trying to save the Imperium from itself, and he's disgusted with its decay and religiosity and all and that kind of And talking to dad. And talking to dad. That's a big one. And talking that to dad a, a little bit. huge one. Right. But, but at the same time, if I was to look at the narrative from the way that I would take it, I don't want the Imperium to be saved right like the the narrative overarching plot is raging against the dying of the light 
It's knowing that you're going to die, knowing that civilization is going to fall apart, knowing that humanity is on the brink and still fighting on anyways. That's like the, the, the thematic vibe of 40K. And also, when you look at the Primarchs, they were all given like Arthurian legends. And what I mean by that mm -hmm. is they would said like, they're going off into the sunset. They disappeared. Yeah. Their their whereabouts are unknown. Maybe they're dead. But at the end times, they will come back, right? And so the the Primarchs coming back in a way should be like a celebration of an opportunity for the Imperium to shore up its position. But it also should be an alarm bell that this is actually really fucking bad. Because the last time that we were told that these guys were going to come back, it was going to be the end of days. And so if we're going to continue down this narrative, I don't want the Imperium to improve or become more progressive. I want it to start dying until eventually it's dead and probably does like Warhammer end times where the Emperor I dies and chaos wins. And then like the if we were going to do Warhammer 50K, like some of the surviving Primarchs are trying to hold on to pocket kingdoms surrounded by, you know, chaos. And then... Uh, basically, we're we're hoping that the emperor is a perpetual and will we'll be able to like reconstitute himself at some point, but we don't know when that will be. And then, in some ways, Warhammer 50k could be even more grim dark than Warhammer 40k. So that that's kind of like the that's where I would take the narrative personally. No, I get it. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. I know you guys out. want to keep talking about this shit, but just I need to ask a question, just on terms of the the logical aspects of this. How long has this story gone in universe? Like, has this story progressed through 10, time years. in universe? 10,000 years. And that's represented through like about 30 years in human time of, of there's, like this, there's this 200 existing. 200 years. There's 200 years of. Sorry, sorry. Very, I mean, like in our universe, in 19, our real like the life. 1980s. Yeah, 19, the 1980s. 1987. So like about 30 or 40 years almost of yeah. this story existing, 10,000 years in universe. Can I just ask logically argument, yeah. why there's no example of a female custodies or female space marine? Because they, they wrote it that way in the beginning and it was a male dominated thing. The whole way that GW so started I'm just, was- Sorry, I'm just saying that now, now that's in the universe. I Don't you have to assume logically that it makes no sense for them not to use women as space marines if it's possible? For the exact reason that Ironsides gave. Why? For the exact reasons Ironsides gave. Oh, we have this like 40, 50 percent of the population that we could access and like turn into these these giant monsters, these tanks, right? Couldn't why why wouldn't they do it if it was possible? Yes, exactly. well, the, so it's not the, actually a good idea, right? Because the uh, the actual precious resource in the the situation is the actual true. gene seed. It's produced like by these uh, like weird glands that the space marines have, and like managing yeah, this name. resource is like the the most precious component of uh of space marine creation so like they, they have a, a really limited pool of like how many organs they can give out and so they need to pick like the absolute best of the best of the best of the best to give the organ to it has to be like genetically perfect they have to go through like this huge testing and if you give the gene seed to the wrong people you've like wasted the most precious resource that the entire imperium has so I there's like a deep that. economics you know element in it. yeah go for it so if they're gonna like die during the process anyways why don't they just harvest the gene seed and try it again uh, because every time that you implant, there's a chance of corruption. And, and that that's like that's something that happens like over time anyways. That was like the the background narrative for almost every chapter is each subsequent generation loses a touch of its purity because basically since it's a genetic and viral machine, it rewrites the genetic code of the human being, but the human being also kind of rewrites back. And so over like increasing generations, you will have like weird flaws pop up in the gene seed. And some of those flaws can be turned into advantages. And some of them are just straight disadvantages. Yeah. And mutations, you know, suffer not the mutant to live, the whole thing. Like that. And and if you mutate yeah. too far, then eventually they'll fucking kill you. Okay, soul drinkers. Or uh yeah, or black dragons. The like, the but but the point is like so. Uh, I understand your question, like logically, why wouldn't you spend it on on females or whatever? I think this does like so on one hand, it was written beforehand that gene seed is only coded for males. And they've written that half a dozen times over the past 30 years. The the question of like whether or not you could test it on females, I guess, hypothetically, you could. And if 95 percent. But like, again, that's contradicting 30 years worth of lore. But then I think, again, my real objection, I'll come to you with like lore objections 
for why I don't like these things. But really for me, it is like the thematic, like the male coded hunter warrior narratives that we've been listening to for thousands of years. Um, like, like the Odyssey and the Iliad. Like the, these are these are warrior stories that are passed on from generation to generation. And I think Warhammer does a damn good job of it. I think also to like ground this in something that we have real metrics for, right? Like a lot of people want to be a Navy SEAL, yep. right? A lot of people can try to be a Navy SEAL, but there's an incredibly limited pool of people who are actually capable of getting through the entire process. And it's not just like, oh, are you capable of doing enough push-ups? There, there's a deep like psychological level of commitment you need to have to like suffer through a bunch of complete oh. bullshit, psychological torture, physical pain and just like an, a level of commitment to a really crazy thing becoming a navy seal well, has to be there you can go in as like a you know like a, a a super high class athlete and get fucking destroyed just because it's like psychologically grueling and women are not becoming navy seals and then navy seals are like they're just people right it's right basically like one well, the, percent of navy seals there's like this... you're like an ultra navy seal like maybe one person that's ever existed on earth is like good enough to become an astartes you're talking yeah, about a civilization the... that has trillions of people and they're producing a handful of astartes a year well and that's something interesting narratively so so men and people who already enjoy the narrative as it exists they understand that there's a real chance that if this was a real world thing, they would not be in Astartes, right? Like yeah, there are plenty of competent men who don't make it through the process. And there's even competent men who are selected and then the genetics fail and they die in the process. This so is, like, the, yeah. and there's also like an age gate thing too. This is only for adolescent males. It's only yeah. for teenagers. It has to be and what, so, pre-puberty. Yeah, and so there are set rules where, like, I, as a 36-year-old man, if the God Emperor of Mankind shows up tomorrow and says, hey, I'm recruiting Astartes, I will fail. I'm not allowed to go. And so if I can accept that, then why are we, like, making these, like, exceptions to the fucking rules for people who fucking didn't give a shit about this fucking hobby until two years ago, and they just want to see their face on the fucking flagship? I don't see myself. In this. I, I used to see myself as an Astartes, and now I find the guardsmen so much more interesting yeah, because they are just humans with simple weapons That's raging against the dying. Literally Nebula. why I like the guardsmen is because I recognize that like these people are like the giga chads or whatever. I like the normie ass dudes trying to make a difference. I like that. I like the, the people like you and me that are like, Hey, you know what? I want to make a fucking, I'm going to join the goddamn guards, bro. I you always know. play those guards, dude. Hell no, yeah. Imagine. Imagine. So when you're a teenager, you want to be an eight foot tall demigod of war in a fucking exoskeleton power suit firing mini missiles out of a fucking assault rifle, right? When you're a teenager, that's what you want because you want to be a demigod of war. When you're an adult and though and like space marines are like programmed psychologically in order to deal with fear differently. They say that they still feel fear, but they basically they will never have the freeze response and they will never have the flight response. They will only have the fight response. Um, and so, whereas with humans, they have to face the thing, the same threats without the equipment mm -hmm. and without the fucking genetic enhancement. So True. they're basically fighting 40 foot tall fucking <clears throat> bugs that spit acid and can rip half a squad to pieces in a half second. And they're fighting that thing with basically what amounts to a modern day 308 battle rifle or shovel. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Stone that is cold so cool. Sober, bro. Stone yeah, so, cold sober, dude. It's yeah, so insane. so so if anything like what I'm really trying to defend is like the Horus Heresy narrative is a story about br like a father failing his sons and his sons betraying their brothers. That's the story. And I don't want tits and pussy to get mixed up in that shit because I think it's a beautiful tragic story if you if you or gw wants to mix tits into the future of 40k that's on you but i'm gonna ignore it and i want what's already written to remain as is because i th i think it's beautiful and it's needed yeah like i agree with that i do like 100 percent. yeah
I just and, and, want it to. I want it to be more logically like satisfying. And the problem is, it isn't. Like, if we're just it, like, well, if you're looking for logic uh, in 40k, uh, that's that's one of your first mistakes. I know that's the problem. Okay, I know. <laughs> All right, I'm a Thousand Suns fan. I'm yeah, no, 100. percent Um, oh, well, God, and, but you might want to. Well, and obviously, like, you should take 40k for what it is. But there's there's also other IPs that emphasize female warriors. There's fucking there's female Spartans. There's well, female Spartans in fucking Halo. No, I don't. It doesn't really make a difference to me about women being in it or not. I just want it to be logically consistent. That's all. And like, okay. we have like super duper advanced, like super duper advanced Yay. technology. We're starting to learn more. We're growing more. We're having all these things. Like, we're just saying, like, a woman can't be in Astartes. No, but she can be a custodian. She can be a sister of silence. She can be a Harlequin. She can be like all of this stuff. Hold that's up. like, eh, hold up. okay. Like, yeah, no, no, no. Hold up. So, so let me explain that because I'm going to nerd out for a second because we're here. So, number one, you said mm -hmm. custodians. Custodians don't take Eesh, GNC. Thank you very They're much not for the mass-produced sub. super warriors. They are tailor-made. So if a if a if a space marine is a like V8 Dodge Charger or some shit off the production line, then a Custodes is a Ferrari, right? Mm -hmm. Like they're all like fucking hand built. Real quick, guys, I'm fighting with Wolfgang in the general chat of the Discord. Okay, that's what's going on right now. Um, while this debate is going on, so if you want to come in and watch us actually argue in general chat, it's discord.gg slash jstlk. Are male and female warriors, and Eldar are faster, smarter, sometimes stronger than every other race. So, like, like about the Harlequin killing all those custodians that one time. But yeah, which was probably it, it was probably that. the Lucifer Blacks. It was probably the elite Imperial Guard. They probably didn't kill all the custodians. Yeah, no shot. Sure, that's cap. So, so the point is that there's like lore justifications for that. And again, I'm all, if, if you beat me on a lore point, I'm going to fall back to the thematic. No, no, I get it. I mean, that's what, that's what I figured this was going to end up being anyways. Um, yeah, I mean, it's fine. Like, it, you know, it is what it is. I just don't, again, like, also I'm sexist. So. <laughs> I hate you. Oh, no, I mean, you know like, le legitimately, I legitimately, like I, I kind of like women piss me off. I'm not a space marine, okay? I'm from the what'd you say, the sisterhood of the battle angels? Did they get did they get backup when they're in trouble? Because I got backup from my sister in hood, Kelly Jean, okay? There yeah, are multiple characters of with <laughs> exactly. There are multiple multiple characters with genetic abnormalities. There are albino ones, uh they're basically like werewolves and ones that drink blood. They're basically like vampires. 40k okay with making games like Twilight, but no women, I guess. Uh, Sounds gay to me. Absolutely wild that Wolfgang had to go to Kelly Jean to get his magic equals nothing matters argument back in a second she's new variation. Magic That's equals like, nothing matters, guys. Also, she, There's genetic abnormalities, therefore anything can happen. Fantastic. Thank you, gay. Kelly Jean, okay. for the input. I'm sorry. Look at that. I just want to let you know that just because you're like, Wolfgang, you got raped. You're the cuck that watch, okay? Because Connor's doing a lot of the talking, and you're hella quiet right now, brother, okay? So I hope you like sitting on that chair. I'm just waiting for you to chair. make any sensible argument. Popcorn, turns okay? out, waiting for that is going to have me suffocating, dying of, of, okay. uh, of such, starvation in a corner a right now, okay? Gossip, just sitting here waiting here. for this guy to right. make any point that makes sense, and he won't do it. Say, it's say, say, gay. what's, what's the name it's of the guy asexual. who made the video? What's the name of the guy that made the video? The one that I had a I don't even remember. Uh, critical say you're drink covering drink for him. Say you're covering for his ass. Say you're covering I'm not, for his I'm ass. I'm not covering, I'm not for, covering for no, who? Not you, not he's Connor, already he's fine. Hold on, hold on. Connor, move aside. This point. Connor, move aside. I'm talking to Jesticle, right. okay? This is between me and him. <laughs> say you're covering for his ass. I want to hear you say it. For, for who? For the guy that made the video who I had Critical a problem drinker. with. Go ahead, Mr. Cockchair. Tell Critical me, okay? Drinker? No, I've literally never watched one of his I videos before. Because that was the issue that I was having. You want to come in here after Daddy Connor probably fucking DMs you all the correct no. answers, okay? Oh, oh, <laughs> sorry. Know? I think I think you were very confused about my actual problem. It's inconsistent you know, with everything I've said here. With hard magic, soft it, magic, it, it, I explained it all to you. You I follow the rules of your magical universe or it falls apart. That's all that happens. Fantasy universe, you have rules, you build it on rules, and that's how it works. And okay? Your little nuts are quaking, buddy, because I called help Quaking about what? will never be a space marine. You asked you ask Kelly Jean for help, and she just Sorry, gave you the bad argument you already had. Um, but it sounds like you got dumpstered, so I don't know what you're talking about, okay? Uh, he's, running. he's running. He's running. How am I running? He's running. How am I running, you <laughs> stupid bitch? You're the one. Can you? Okay, share the screenshots of you well, and this. so many screen. genetic Ooh, abnormalities already. That means anything can happen. Women can be Come anything, here, Kelly. bigot. Come in here. Get in. This guy hey, wins anyways, okay? Do you want to talk okay? about uh, biological what? limits? 
I think that shit is cringe. But sure, we can talk about it. Go ahead. I well, think I mean, so you cringe. seem to think that like just because some women can beat some men, that like there's going to be a woman who's going to be competitive Any. with the top one percent. One, one in the in the world. No, no, in, in, zero permanently forever. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, can't, why, why can't you there be me. zero? Why can't there be zero women that can't? Because again, this guy in my why opinion, would you waste the resource this? if you know it's only going to be one? And then also, well, here, it's, here's not the other that. it's not it's so, not there's only going to be one. There's going to be zero women that compete at the top zero point zero zero one percent of male athletes. Ever. Okay. I don't and know here's the thing. There's a, there's a joke here that I, think... I want to tell desperately. Have you so, considered that it's a there, fantasy there, world? <laughs> there's a vet TV. There's there's a there's a YouTube channel and I think a, a paid service called Vet TV. They make like disgusting, horrible skits about the global war on terror. And they have the the colonel of the like Marine Corps School of Infantry, and they're talking about all the fe- uh, like it's a joke, but they're talking about all the females who have flunked out of the fucking program. And they have a progressive news reporter who's like, "Well, Colonel, why do you think it is that women can't pass the School of Infantry?" And he's like, "Well, I'd love to tell you, Lauren. It has nothing to do with attitude. It's just that when you put two hundred pounds on a woman's fucking back, their hips crumble like a fucking crouton." Oh, <laughs> like yeah, so I remember that. for. Yeah, so for me, it's like, yeah, like, why are you... We're talking about a mass-produced warrior elite, 1% of the 1% who are going to be able to survive. Why are you going to go after if there if there's no top one... As a matter of fact, let's look at that stat right now. Like, what's the top... Do we have any stats on the top 1% of athletes? And are there any females up there that it's not like fucking golf... Or the fucking the game with like uh, yeah. what's the ice shit where you fucking oh, curling? Oh, yeah. Curling. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. Let, let's find a top one percent female that's not curling or golf. You're yeah, the about difference seems to right? reduce to almost I, nothing I in long distance swimming. Can. I, long I, distance I, I swimming. Can. Yeah. So if we have like an Aquaman fucking space marine force, yeah. So we're in oh fucking business. So baby. If we deal, they if we get to a water sharks. planet, we'll start recruiting females. This the is sharks. so yeah. fucking. This this is the so fucking in this fantasy is. fucking world. We're going to be running to the fucking Olympics and the fucking Mike Phelps and whoever the fuck. The fantasy so world. Nothing thing. matters, guys. <laughs> we're enforcing the rules. Well, okay, do I? For like, but no, I'm not that. I'm not that. We're enforced? enforcing the rules for reality, specifically when it comes to like yeah. the women. I hope, I hope that men are just as feeble and weak and broken in Warhammer as they're in real life. Because if I, if if I get one fucking DM <laughs> of an account of like a fucking regular ass man in Warhammer doing anything exceptional, I swear to you, just fucking say, just say we want thematically for it not to have women. That's completely okay. But now we're gonna do this thing where in the in the, in the world of so many infinite. Well, fantasies, we agree there. So- so we and the already agree to it. The, you, the problem is that the cowardice, the cowardice is insane here. All I'm asking for is, can you give me one instance ever, ever, okay? Clip that, of one woman who can fucking have any sort of physical aptitude with a man. And you guys can't even conceive in the world of, the, the f- fantastical world of Warhammer, there has never been one exception ever in this world of Wait, one woman who could maybe that's, compete. That's, that's There's sorry, so many exceptions. That's not, hold on, yeah, this is not, this is not, even, not even a good argument. I don't even know why we were talking about this. Find me a woman who can bench competitively with top male powerlifters. You it yeah, can't. I, and, it and I and I just happen. I just Googled yeah, it. In Warhammer, like on right. average, in Warhammer, a fantasy woman would be able to. No. Yes. Well, no, I don't know no, no, because only... no, hold on. I'm actually triggered. Please, I, I'm actually triggered. The uh, issue Ray is like then. what JSTOCK was talking about. This world has rules, and in that world, the rules are that it is a brutal competition of physical and mental aptitude that is nothing like what we have on Earth right now. So it is powerlifting while also sp- sprinting a fucking marathon, while also swimming, while also max squatting, while also figuring out how to fucking climb a tree in less than a quarter of a second while doing all of these things simultaneously so you and a demon's to fu- trying to eat your brain while you're doing yes that. Okay. exactly and so you're trying to figure out the best of the best of the best of the best of that of the best and so what we would simply look at is right now in one of those eight million categories is there a woman who's competitive with a man and the answer is no not when it comes Never. to physical aptitude no well, straight up wolfgand. right wait, wait wolfgand find me a woman who is competitive with uh fucking uh, uh, Thor Bjornsson, 
in powerlifting. It isn't a thing. It's not a thing. Real, I do not care about the real. We do. That's the point. We do. That's fine. We are. There is a semblance of reality in this world, and that there semblance is. of reality Warhammer, is that there, you are taking Warhammer the is at of, its best. Yes. You sorry, are sorry for interrupting. The, go ahead. You, you uh, continue, and I'll, I'll go after you. Okay. Warhammer is supposed to be taking the, the people who are at the pinnacle of physical fitness. It's taking Thor Bjornsson and saying, actually, you're a fucking pussy because you can't do this and that and that on top of it, and your mental aptitude is shit. He would get kicked off to the side because he just ain't got it. So these people who are the best of the best of the best of the best don't even take the – can't even make the the, the ride. So they you don't would make look cut, at yeah. – yeah, so you would look at the the best of the best in in one specific category and say, "Hey, look, there is literally no women who are competitive with this guy." At jump, they would be disqualified. Just at jump, they would be disqualified well, because one of the 30 categories, they're not even competitive with w- what a man can do. And we'll yeah, can, but really, if you we have magic mushroom men, before, green orky boys who can do magic one, mind stuff, those are why not weapons. muscle mommy? You're gonna I, I want to push back. Well, on that the so muscle bad. mommy pisses me off because that—that's the reason why it feels like thematic fucking undercutting of it. It's like I just love fucking muscular women with huge tits, and it's like we all do, bud. But at the same <laughs> time, like this is about paternal and fraternal relationships in the most extreme war that's setting fine. that you can possibly. That imagine. is fine. What? That you cunt. So what? Who's so me? you said that. We can't imagine a woman being so ex- exceptional that she would make it to the top ranks. Well, One. at this point, at this point in the lore, women have made it into the top ranks of every institution except for one. And we're asking for that one to remain pure. Yeah, Custodies are technically better than Space Marines. Imperial fucking guard, they're uh, they're everybody. The fucking the Imperial Knights and the Titans, it has more to do with your like your psychological aptitude. And as a result, one of the most beloved Titan pilots is from Hell's Reach. I forget oh. her name at this point, but uh, she's Princeps, fucking, what's her name? Yeah, no, Zaha. She's fucking great. Yes, Princep she's Zaha. Great. Dude, Princep Zaha is she is mogging the fucking protagonist for half the fucking show so Mm -hmm. it's kind of like yeah like if there were like meme progressives here who were like you're sexist it's like yeah sure whatever but like i'm a sexist who recognizes competent and intelligent and exceptional females in all these spaces i just want my safe space i want one safe space that's 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 okay what What you said thematically oh god Go, go, I, go, I know go, what you're going to say. Go, I know what you're going to say. It's just, it's just like you said. They're literally everywhere. They're doing the best in this. They're doing the best in this. They can do the best in this. But what about this one thing? Well, they just kind of, you know, sort of not. Like, well, well it's because they can't bench. Um, literally because they can't bench. It's a bench. fantasy, bro. Come bro, on. No, it's you're, crazy. Crazy. You're, doing to, before, you're doing the thing JSTLK is blaming you for. Oh, my you're, God. It's yes, because it's so BMW it. Find some magic. Show me that fucking BMW in the game, bro. I need the Dodge Charger inside of the Bro, you are triggering the fuck out of me. Holy shit. Oh, you're telling me Gandalf can kill a Balrog, but he can't summon a BMW 528i? It is that. Okay. You know, you know, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give it to you guys because I'm just going to assume that I have. So, I'm I'm an artist and I play video games. Okay, I was not very athletic ever. I'm going to assume I'm that I have such an unbelievable lack of understanding of the physical tightness that is being a fucking space marine. That it, it has to be. It has to be like a gapping it, that that is so insane. It has to be. I'll give it to you. Fucking have it. Go ahead. Well, no. Okay. So it, here, here's just a, a simple. We thing exhausted him. For, I'm taking it. Yeah. I am. I'm. Ex- I'm exhausted. So, so just <laughs> as, put as put as non-inflammatory as possible and as simple as possible. One of the preconditions for being a space marine is extreme physical aptitude. Can you show me a woman who is competitive? With other men, when it comes to benching, probably not. I probably that is can't. Exi- Hold on, no, okay. I can't I ever walk so what do you? So then, why why wouldn't it be? Why would it be an issue when benching is one of the one of the component, one of the very many requirements, especially when it comes to physical aptitude, one of the many requirements for a space marine? Why would it be then that you would expect to see female space marines? Because right now, all of these people who because are benching fantasy at the highest and level, the gene seed would make them able to bench. Like, yeah. like honestly, that, that's the answer. 
the, the answer is the they don't get the gene seed them. until after they've proven themselves by benching. But yeah. guess what? But here, here's the thing. I'm going to give you guys a part of the argument. Why the okay, a lot, a lot of the trials that space marines do or space marine asp aspirants do, they are physical. A lot of them are wildly physical. Like, like so, for instance, like the space wolves, they drop off their aspirants in the wild, and they expect <laughs> them to just hike back to the base, which is going to be like dozens of miles. And on their planet, it's a death world, so it's like negative forty degrees at all times, and it also has super fun. So they have like wolves the size of fucking buses and they got fucking bears the size of fucking like, like take a grizzly bear t times two. Right. And it'll it'll fuck you up. So that that's what they're expected to do. But sometimes the aspirants who are selected are not the most physically capable. They're the ones who die valiantly and they're basically taken on their death throes back to the uh, the Space Marine Fortress in order to be converted. And so that that actually does happen. Uh, Ragnar Blackmane, one of the Space Wolves, he he's a teenager. His he's a Viking. His village gets raided. He dies in battle. And he's taken as a fucking space marine. So his proof was not in his physical prowess. His proof was in his character. But again, 99.9, .9, it's going to be males. So why are you going to waste your time with fucking females? Can I just point out that uh, there is a woman that benches over 700 pounds now? Uh, is that at all comparable to the most competitive she powerlifters like, though? for men? Ashley Hoda? Uh, uh, probably for quick, probably not, looked. but I think it's What's actually name? still really, really good. Ashley Hota. Yeah, I mean, Ashley I'm not trying to say that is great. Hota bench press, seven hundred pounds. Yeah, she got seven hundred pounds. That, I that, think that, I, well, that. My max was two hundred and twenty-five. So, yeah, I'm not going to say that isn't impressive. Let's start there. I I got I got fucking pissed when there was a there was this black dude. He looked like forty. He was in the my military base in Iraq, and there was a really nice gym there. And it took me like six months to get up to 225. And I fucking show up to jail or not jail. I show up to the fucking gym and this fucking 40 year old black dude. He's like five foot five. He's yoked out of his fucking mind and he's repping 400. I wanted to I, fucking uh, kill myself. Uh, wait, hold on. I, Riley, what are you what are you benching right uh, now? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I am oh, so damn it, like two I'm so I'm so right, tired of being verbally owned that i don't know but everyone's like oh my god that proves your point that there exists like a outlier in the real world like Relly was asking for it does that prove my point i'm actually so i can't even tell wait does that can you wait can somebody does actually that... because i am totally unaware is there any woman that has ever existed that can bench that... as much as eddie hall uh what's his max bench maybe uh let's see look i actually don't know that one well, actually, well, oh, no, no, he doesn't have it. He doesn't have a, uh, I don't, he does not have a uh, competition. Oh, never mind. 770. Damn. 770 by Eddie Hall in 2020. And, Tamar and uh, Ashley Hoda putting up 700. 700. Damn. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that's not impressive. That's fucking insane. But, no, it's, but, it, it doesn't count. It's, it's record equipped. bench. Let's it's see. equipped. It doesn't count. Record. Bench. Oh, what, what, what does equipped bench. mean? Uh, she has get, all the fucking straps and shit. Yeah, oh, you I'm sorry. The world record too. bench is 1,400. It's literally double. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally double. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> Ain't no <laughs> way, dude. <laughs> Wait, oh, hold on. The, it, the max... Oh, no. I just Googled it. You're saying the max equipped male bench is 1,400? Yeah, yeah, the world so. yeah. bench press held by Jimmy Cobb. He lifted 635 kilos, 1,401 pounds at right. the 2023 IPA oh, TriStar. So yeah. we were just making some shit up. Sorry, women. Okay, You're not getting on fair, this one. Look at his range of motion. The guy moves like half an inch, right? At least actually. Well, so did she. Legal. Yeah, I was going to say. No, no shot. Let me see that. Me. So did okay, she. So for the, 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 un, well, the woman, unhealthy people that don't understand, that does not prove my point. The we just go to the non-equipped bench? Yeah, no, don't even talk about that. I already know. 340, I... Threw that up this morning. So yeah. there's no exceptional. There's in the real world. If that's what we're asking for, we're asking for one instance that maybe then can perhaps justify the existence of maybe one woman in the world of Warhammer. Not with it bench press. Not, that's not really a good example, probably. 
Oh, I think the, the, the idea. Was, no, the sorry. Idea. I'm saying this is defending you, Wolfgang. I'm saying that like bench press is uniquely like a thing that males are going to dominate. I'd say there's probably other athletic feats that women would come closer in. Because women have titties. It's the problem that breast tissue gets in the way of pectoral development. All right. Oh, yeah, they got fucking squat? wide ass fucking hips. Squat. Yeah, but like squat, even in a broad competition, you're going to see men exceed like the female maximum by like 10 percent in almost every sport. That was there, that's I mean, not like tracks, Google. I, I literally Googled that for uh, the like, what's the gap between males and females athletically or whatever? And they said across the board, it's 10 to 12 percent. Yeah. So it's like if you have a bunch of for elite, elite versus elite Olympic. Yeah. If you have people who are pushing the limit of what's possible and you have like a bunch of like female Olympians in any sport and you take an average high school varsity male and throw him into that competition, he's going to win every single competition except for curling and maybe long distance swimming. Fine. And I'll buy the reason where the waste of resources is massively important. Shall I'll take that. But at this, I'm trying to take anything here. Okay? She still sounds so stupid. I, I'm, I'm trying to take anything here. What we're saying is that the, again, the insane feat of athleticism that is required to maybe even be considered to be a space Marine is so insane. Offset off, outliers would never exist that is how crazy that is there can never be an outlier woman no no it's not about whether or not there can be an why would you do it's about how steep that of an outlier we're talking about here because the person would not only need to be exemplary and why would you invest in the outlier yes yes why would you so so for instance let's say let's say that we were setting up trials right and we knew that there was a 99 percent chance of uh either genetic character or uh character or physical rejection for any aspirant that came and then we also knew that out of the women, because let's face it, there's going to be less women that fucking show up anyways. So let's say we have 100 dudes show or we have 95 dudes show up. We got five females show up. And then out of those five females, we basically know that it's going to be a one in a million or a one in a billion shot that they are going to not only succeed physically, not only succeed mentally, not only succeed uh, character wise, not only succeed genetically, but then also even with the risk of rejection, we're still going to give them the fucking gene seed. Why would you do that in the first place if there was only going to be five females that show up and it was a one in a billion fucking shot? You would just say, oh, fuck it, we're only taking males. dies. Yeah. Horribly. Not always horribly, but yeah. That's pretty I mean, bad. depends on what you mean by horribly. Sometimes it's you quick. You spend it's six still years of your life going through a whole bunch of surgeries, and that very last one fucking causes you to die. That is horrible. You spend <laughs> that is horrible. Your life bro. getting Imagine fucking you, that shit happens. That last surgery, That's dude, so that fucked. That suck. No, that, oh, that, and that shit literally happened in the Ragnar, uh, Ragnar Blackmane book. Yeah, I think him and only like four or five people homie. made mm -hmm. it to the gene seed implantation, and like one of them became a wolf, and, and one of them died. Oh my god! Right, Escaped out into the honest, fucking woods. Kelly, oh, they please? became a wolfen. That's right. The, After the the, uh, the first surgery, they became are, the fucking uh, the wolfen. You know what? I'll say all... this. Okay. I, I don't know how long I can stay. I already got pulverized. Okay, so it's not even running. Okay. I don't I'm even think you got pulverized. No, you were wait, wait, wait. This was the best conversation I've had with a progressive about this topic ever. I don't even know if I'm a progressive. I don't even care about like I care necessarily like about I'm care I care more about like the writing. And to me, I you know I'll, I'll just give it this. It's just it's the probably the the how insane the athleticism is that to me because all I'm thinking is like okay the peak of hu human condition and like women are really that impossible. But I understand what you're saying with the resources. I get it. Point being, Kelly, I can't bring up what you're saying because I I am not gonna get clipped making it about that. <laughs> Oh you no! no, 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 no. Let me oh, just spell that. Let me just spell Kelly. it. Hey, Connor, right? No, no, no. Oh, you know I'll that. just make. I'll make Kelly's argument really quickly. She's saying, "Why aren't there more black space marines if it's all There's about 20. athleticism?" Yeah. <laughs> There's a bunch of them. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> They're all over the fucking salamander. <laughs> well, look at the <laughs> fucking <laughs> NBA navigator. Why aren't there more 20. black space marines? Oh, nice. <laughs> Listen, I will have you know, uh, as uh, as chuddy as I've been on this topic, some people were pissed that there was a black ultramarine heavily featured in a recent book. But the truth is that McCrag, which is like uh, the realm of Ultramar or whatever, McCrag's the capital, they, it's 500 planets. Why Can wouldn't Uriel there be Ventress a fucking black fucking guy? fucking first captain is black. Like, what the fuck? This is dumb. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. fucking so, stupid. So, so there, there, there is a, there's absolutely a point at which people just see black and they assume DEI, even if it makes sense in the narrative. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which, which sucks because because it's not accurate. It it also makes the people who agree with me look really fucking stupid. Mm-hmm. Also, yep. it, it, I I mean, even if there genuinely was not any black space marines, which there are, but even if there wasn't any, like this would assume that they have like a perfectly egalitarian society, which is laughable. Um, inside of the world, they could just be racist. <laughs> they could <laughs> unironically just be. I mean, with their fascists. They could unironically also just yeah. It's not. Racist. It's not a. It's not a. It's not a stretch that some worlds they, would be like. Eh, not so much. I mean, yeah, it could absolutely. absolutely just be racist, but it's just less likely in a space wide world where like suddenly the thing that differentiates you from the people around you is like not that important because yep. there's other species of people out there. That's probably why most yeah. space yeah. Well, stories that, are that's actually racist. Why I want us to discover a hostile alien race because I think as soon as we do, like racism on planet Earth is probably going to be a moot point. Yeah, but if it's like Dukari, it's not really worth the payoff, right? Okay, I love you guys. <laughs> this this genuine, unironically, regardless of me yelling at Justical or anybody else, this has actually been a lot of fun. Uh, and you know what? I yeah, I might have to so dip hard. in a second as well. Yeah. Um, but you before guys. you do, if Kelly Jean's okay. listening in your chat, one second. Um, so Kelly Jean, I know that you and I don't like each other. However, um, I am I am cosplaying. Okay. Oh, shit. So I took I took EVA foam. I created a Imperial Guard ballistic vest. Um, I have a cod piece and a butt piece and side pieces and shin <laughs> armor and thigh armor and gauntlets and I have a bolter and uh, this Friday I'll be shooting a cosplay video where I took a 12 gauge shotgun which is 72 caliber uh, the bolter in the Warhammer 40k universe is 75 caliber and I will be doing a science fiction gun YouTube video based off of cosplay so I just wanted That's to share that so even if we uh, we don't get along we uh, we share an interest. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, there you Trying go. Hopefully, the she'll be able to meet in the middle. Glad that you, yeah, you extended that bridge out there. I'm sure that's going to be fruitful for you. And I look <laughs> forward to the, the DM. She's going to be like, suck a dick, I'm dumb shit. Kelly, Next please. Bridges podcast <laughs> counterpoints and uh, Kelly Jean. Okay. Yeah. I love you guys. This was fun. I don't, I'm sure maybe the conversations will only rile up more with the... I, I don't know, Jessica said it was fake, but the Henry Cavill show or whatever it is. Some oh, people are like, oh, oh I think that's I think that's fake. Somebody said that Henry Cavill was like making comments about this. It's like I... It's like the source is like a 4chan no. board where somebody was like, yeah, my it's... dad works on the show. It's like, okay. okay. It's literally my dad works at Nintendo. Let's get out of here. Wait, is that yeah. true? I thought what, it was that he was uh, pissed about female thing. custodies? No, 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 no. Oh, I thought this. It was about him running the um, Amazon Prime's. Uh, no, he's running that. Hammer. No, oh, that's okay. true. That's, that's true. Talking about. Oh, okay, my bad. Yeah, he sure he's running that. Good. Some people were making up though that he was pissed off about female custodies, which I think is like possible, um, just because it's like a sign of potentially bad things to come. Um, but again, I'm with Jay Stock that we there's no way we would have that fucking information. He's not going to say anything post. about it. He's just going to like stop talking about 40k and just drop well he got yeah he got fucked on the witcher pretty hard so uh, in 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 games workshop was or excuse me 40k is his baby the way that it's my baby so uh i dude if they fucking dei'd him i would be fucking pissed too so i think he also has like some actual power there i wouldn't be surprised see you woken bye I yeah, I might. Um, does anybody have anything else for me? Because uh, the wife is texting me, and I think I need to go help her with some shit. So I just want to. Uh, does anybody have, have anything for me before I dip? Uh, no, I think that was unless Ironsides. I think is the only person who was on the. Um, I don't even know no. if we ended up on different sides, but I knew it was a losing battle. But I didn't want to see him go down so bad. I love Wolfgang. I do. Y'all, but y'all might God win damn. though. No, y'all, it's not y'all about winning. Win, it's just it just mm-hmm. needs to make sense. That's the thing. Like I don't know. Maybe I'm too fucking logic bro or logic brand about shit. But it's like super duper smart people. But we still get like the calm and cold. And there's not like a good reason for like what the fuck is this? It's dumb. It's dumb as fuck. Right. <laughs> but, but in the but I'm saying in the in the long term for the people who want a more coherent technological explanation for why women can't be space marines and then gw says eh maybe they can and then they fucking change it and they add it and then a whole bunch of people like me shit and cry and piss and shit and cry and piss and we can't stop um that might be that might happen in the next decade which will suck but yeah. i'll do i'll do what i did with star wars which is i'll ignore the cringe parts and i'll embrace the cool parts and it is what yep. it is that's yeah that's basically so, what it is i don't know that's what i do with most things 
Um, okay. Yeah, well, no, par- it was cool. Par- it was a fun little thing. Excellent. Then parasocial love to all of you. Jay Stock, thank you for inviting me. I appreciate it. And I yeah, wish you all a on. beautiful evening. Yep. Have a good one. See you around. Yep. Bye. Bye. Fuck you, Dan. Bye.